the function g is defined by g of x equals this expression. The value of g of 7 minus w is 0, where w is a constant. What is the sum of all possible values of w? Okay, so we're given this function g of x equals x times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 6 whole squared. <coughs> And we're told that the value of g of 7 minus w is equal to 0. So this inside here is the value of x. So we would just plug in the quantity 7 minus w into x. So let's do that here. So g of 7 minus w is equal to this expression, but with x being substituted for 7 minus w. So we would have 7 minus w times 7 minus w minus 2 times 7 minus w plus 6 whole squared. And we are told that this whole quantity equals 0, since g of 7 minus w equals 0. Okay, so let's simplify this down. So we'll have 7 minus w in this first parenthesis, and the second one, 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 minus w, and then in the third parentheses, 7 plus 6, that's 13 minus w whole squared equals 0. So now we have three different sets of parentheses all being multiplied, and the, the product equals 0. So we know that for the various solutions to this equation happens when any of these parentheses equals 0. So for the first parentheses, the quantity 7 minus w equals 0 when w equals 7. 7 minus 7 equals 0, and then 0 multiplied with anything is just equal to 0. So this val value of 7 satisfies the equation. For the second parentheses, for a value of w equals 5, 5 minus 5 is 0. So again, multiplying 0 with anything just equals 0. So the final equation would just say 0 equals 0. So 5 satisfies the equation. And then for the last one, w equals 13. 13 minus 13 is 0, and 0 squared is still 0. So these are the three solutions for w. But the problem asked us for the sum of all possible values of w. So we would just add these all together, 7 plus 5 plus 13. So this would just give us value of 25. So 25 is the sum of all possible values of W.